Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today is the day. So as the measures, of course, are being relaxed from the coronavirus lockdown, today is the 4th of July where hairdressers, barbers, salons are allowed to open. So I am incredibly privileged and I am really, really thankful that where I go to get my hair cut, I have managed to grab an appointment. And do you know what? That is where I am off next. So I am off to get my hair cut. I want the back really, really cut in really, really short. It's about five, maybe five and a half inches of length now at the back. And the front's even longer. It's way down over my bottom lip now. So I really want something much, much more easier to handle because I've had quite a few weeks now of doing a lot with it. Um, and with different health problems going on in the background, I'm busy with work and one thing or another and now going into my new my new venture of studying in my accountancy. I haven't always got the time, but I really do love having a really nice hairstyle, particularly the voluminous hairstyles, particularly the 1950s inspired ones with the pompadour sort of look. That's what I really, really like. So I'm going to have a little bit of a chat with the person who's going to be cutting my hair, see what they suggest and here goes. So the next time you will see me, I'll have a much shorter style, much, much hopefully easier to handle and something to be able to help me get the lift in my hair much more easier because I've got that long length now trying to create volume where it's quite fine. And it also sits quite heavy. It flops. So I'm really, really looking forward to what they suggest and what I come away with. So the next time you will see me, I will have my new fresh hairstyle. So have a quick look. As you can see, loads of hair being swept around all on the top here. As you can see, Next time you will see me, I don't actually quite know what the back is like, but I'll just give you give you a bit of a show. See if you can if you can see the back. Where it's so long at the back, it might not be sitting exactly how I want it. But very shortly, I am told I'm going to be having my I'm going to have to have my hair washed, and that's part of the new uh, procedures policies for having your hair cut throughout this time. Um, our new normal, of course. I'm going to have to wear, I believe, an apron. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to wear gloves. I'm told, and I've seen on their website that it does include that, so I'm not sure. But I will have to wear a mask. So I have got a white mask, um, a double filtered mask, um, which I will be wearing, of course, throughout the whole duration of the process. It's going to be quite difficult because I wear two hearing aids as well so that's going to be a little bit tricky too and of course when you have a hearing problem I take it for granted but looking at somebody's face when they're talking to me is a huge part of how what helps my communication with a hearing problem so yeah it's going to be interesting certainly so for now I will see you a little bit later on and hopefully rocking a really nice cool trendy hairstyle of my choice so for now we will see you later okay bye for now hello and welcome back so I have just had my hair cut. I'm back and I have to admit, I really was very surprised by the experience, I have to admit. So I went to the normal place where I get my hair cut, straight away was just really taken back by the amount of effort which has gone which has gone into these procedures, so which will enable us to return back to the new normal to be able to get our haircuts. Straight away, as I approached the, the building where I go to get my haircuts, I wasn't allowed in, I had to wait outside, and then I had to be waited to, to be asked to come into the building. I had my temperature took and touch wood, <laughs> touch my head. I was fine with that. And um, then I had my mask on. So then I went into the building. Then I had to use alcohol hand gel up my arms and on my hands. And then I was asked if the mask I had on was OK or if I needed another one. Um, and I was fine with that. Then straight away, without even discussing how I wanted my hair, I was taken over to the sinks. And then my hair was washed and conditioned. And like this massage on your head, which I'd, I'd never really kind of experienced in where I actually have my hair cut and I've had it cut there for years and I've never actually had it washed there at all so that was really quite nice we're feeling quite stressed and things this quite therapeutic sort of massage on my scalp was really quite different so I quite enjoyed that I have to admit after that experience then then I had the consultation of how I wanted my hair cut again the person who was doing it had a full visor on um, had an apron um, gloves I had a gown on as well I didn't have gloves I had a gown a very very long gown um, and I had the mask on as well, and of course I'd done my hands and my um, and all up to my elbows. And you know what? I felt really quite secure, really quite safe. And I actually made a point of asking the lady who was cutting my hair, "Do you feel safe? Do you feel secure?" And she said yes. And you could just tell that the preparations which had been taken, there was plastic sort of perspex um, screens in between each kind of cubicle, each module where you were sat, um, and. 
I could see the, uh, several of the main sort of seniors there going around cleaning and everything after being used was being cleaned. And then the combs and the scissors and everything was actually in disinfectant when I would got there, actually sat into the booth. And um, yeah, felt really, really assured, really comfortable and really confident that I was being looked after. And really the, the aspect of trying to keep as safe as possible, you could really see that they were working hard to do that, which was absolutely amazing. In terms of the haircuts, so if you remember rightly, I went through... I'm looking at it and I'm just kind of laughing because what I've had done with it, it stands up so much more easier, which is brilliant. So I really, really love uh, a really voluminous uh, pompadour look with loads of volume, loads of height. Um, and I wasn't sure how short I wanted to go with my hair. But I mean, my hair was past my bottom lip. It was just getting ridiculous. And the back of my hair was well, some days if I had it out straight, it was near enough just as long at the back. And it was getting to the point where it was really, really quite silly. Um, but so what I had is I had the back really, really cut in, really, really short. The lengths of hair was really quite long. I have to admit, two, three inches in some places more. Um, the back, I've had this taken up much, much higher, as you can see, much higher here. And I've gone for more of a blend because for the last couple of weeks, I've only been able to, been able to do quite a defined line and blend it slightly. I've gone really nice and had it nice and blended. So a 0 0.5 into a one and then into a two. And in between there, sort of the guard sort of moved up and down ever so slightly just so that blend could could take place and I'm really really happy with it in terms of the length in the front here I think I've had about an inch and a half maybe more so it's just past my nose now I know it's still really really long but what I've had from the front to the back is I've had loads of the weight cut out and I've had it really really chopped into and you may think think that having fine hair that's quite a strange thing to do to cut the weight out and to cut the length and I mean when I'm saying that if you were to imagine a length of hair about this long and then literally the scissors pass through one two three what that does is that cuts several hairs out of that weight so it doesn't affect the length but it affects the weight and the thickness out of the hair so it takes some of the weight the fullness out but what it does is those shorter hairs support the longer hairs so it makes the hair stand up much more naturally with much more volume and it really does has helped so for example I was really struggling to get this type of look with volume in my hair but after I had it washed conditioned cut and then chopped into how you want to call it cut into it's really really lovely to be able to not have to do loads of effort with it if my hair to stand up in a really really nice way and you know what even the product which I got in I have not got half as much product I would normally use in my hair which is lovely to have as well because of course the products which I'm using if they're a bit more expensive or what have you they're going to last a bit more longer because I'm not having to use so much product now and the back I've had that was really quite low so the point I was at my hair in a bit of a point at the back of my neck that was getting really almost towards the bottom of the nape of my neck whereas now it's really really up nice and high I don't know if you'll be able to see from here I hope you will be able to I really like how I've had it cut my only sort of if you can call it issue was that was once I had it um, so I had it shampooed I had it conditioned had a really nice sort of head massage with that being done then I had the consultation it was really quite difficult for me I have to admit once I took my hearing aids out with a mask because I don't actually um it's, it's difficult because I look at people's faces quite a lot to aid when I'm trying to understand what someone's saying. And in those scenarios, when they've got a mask on or they've got a visor on and I've got a mask on, it made it really, really difficult to hear. But you know what? When I didn't hear, there was a couple of other people around me in there who were exactly the same. Um, so, for example, I just really laughed it off. So it was really quite good. And I had a few compliments about how good condition my hair was in as well. And I really, really liked that. Um, and I did mention, actually, when I was having my hair cut that I, throughout lockdown, I tried to sort of get rid of a brassy tone in my hair and um, they talked to me about a few ideas which I could do um, if it comes back brassy sort of naturally with the sun or if I wanted to even try something and even suggested to me breaking up the color which I had with perhaps some lighter pieces throughout my hair because sometimes I don't feel necessarily quite cool when I look in the mirror or I don't feel quite youthful they said that that might be something I would would want to have a look at um so yeah so a few random i think they said random sort of foil pieces put throughout my hair of a lighter color so i may actually have a look at doing that in the future because it did look really quite cool with what they uh, uh showed me and it looked really good so something which in this sort of hairstyle i think would look really quite nice so i may have a look at doing that i'm not so sure at the moment i've booked my next appointment for two weeks time and um, for the foreseeable future it's always going to include masks it's always going to be including the hand washing and in a way do you know what? i find that is really good and it just gives me so much more reassurance as well and I really really like the cut the only thing as I say which I didn't like was the lady who was actually doing my hair when she was drying my hair off now I use uh, like my favorite sort of Damon brush and I and I do with an action from the bottom of my scalp uh, on my scalp and I lift up gently 
but what I found was, oh, talk about gently, as I found the woman was really quite sort of harsh, sort of pulling upwards, really quite firm. And at one point I did actually have to say, Do you know what, you're being a little bit too firm. I don't actually use that style of brush. It was like a really old style brush. Clean, had nothing in it at all. No problem with the brush. Just the bristles are really quite harsh. Like they're almost like metal. So it was really pulling and tugging at my hair. Ended up with a really, really nice style. And I've literally just come home, sprayed a bit more product just around it so it lasts for the rest of the day. I'm just going to show you now. And I really, really like how I had my hair cut. And as you can see, hopefully you'll be able to see that the back is really nice exactly how i kind of wanted it much shorter at the back i have to admit and as you can sort of see from here as well really really like the result of the hair style at the end and you don't really really like it i have to admit and for the reassurance for anybody who's watching this thinking oh i really don't know what to do to get my hair cut if you have got a really good rapport, if you've got a really good relationship with who cuts your hair or the place where you go to get your hair cut or styled or, or to a barber's or wherever you go, they have probably had the most difficult time in terms of getting their business back. And of course, so many other businesses have been struggling throughout this coronavirus pandemic. But where I think they've had the time to really look at how they can get their business up and running again, you will be well looked after. And I feel quite confident in saying that. I feel really, really reassured about how my uh, local place where I get my haircuts, the hairdressers, um, I feel really confident with how they have. What an amazing experience they certainly did uh, give me today. So if that gives you any confidence, I would say Speak to them first of all. They'll tell you what they have to ask you to do now. It will be different and it will be the new normal for the foreseeable future. But I kid you not, it will be a good experience. I can assure you that. And as from looking at my hair, I'm really, really chuffed with the style which I've got. Really, really pleased. And just through having that weight cut out of my hair, there was so much hair on the floor. And I mean so much. I At, at one point I thought to myself, ugh. Is this person got a bit scissor happy with my hair? And you know what? When it was all styled off and dried off and I've got home and I've looked at it now, not at all. Cutting into my hair has really made such a difference, making it much more fuller, making it appear much more thicker, and it stands up easier with less product. Really, really love that. So I hope you've enjoyed this clip. And until next time, stay safe, look after yourselves. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.